from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Sailing Ships on guitar by Whitesnake. Now we'll cover all the guitar parts and do the main solo at the end. We'll look at the other solos as we go through the song. So there's lots of guitar parts in this song so just take your time. If you enjoy this lesson like and subscribe and check out my YouTube channel Essential Guitar Lessons. Lots of songs and lessons for all levels and new ones uploaded weekly and I'll put a link in the description for you. So let's get into it. Start with an A minor chord, we're going to play the open A string and the first fret on the B string together. Then second fret G, second fret D. Third fret on the B and open E. Then we're going to play the second fret on the A and the third fret on the B at the same time. Open G, open D and then the 3rd fret on the E, 1st fret on the E, so slowly. This is a tricky bit, we're going to play 3rd fret on the A, open E, open G, 2nd fret on the A, 3rd fret on the B, open G, 1st fret on the B, open A, and then the open G again, and then the 3rd fret on the E, open B, and then the open G again. So after each chord we do the open G, so slowly. Then we're jumping to the first fret on the E, first fret on the B. Then play the open G, third fret on the D, open G and then slide from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the B. So slowly. Then we're jumping to a G bar chord and we're going to play the 3rd fret on the E string, 3rd fret on the B string. And then 5th fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, back to 4 on the G, 5 on the D. So. Jump back to an F bar chord, we're going to play the 1st fret on the E first and then play the 1st fret on the B, 2nd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the D. Then just jump to an E chord, we're going to play the open E string, open B, 1st fret on the G string and 2nd fret on the D. And we're going to call that riff one, that whole section there, because that repeats over and over again. So let me play that part slowly for you first. finish and we're going to call this next part fill one because it gets used over and over again as well. Open A string first fret on the B, second fret on the G string, that's just an A minor again. Now we're going to take the second fret on 
the D string slide up to the 4th fret play the open G, 3rd fret B, 5th fret on the E back to 3rd B, open G, 4th on the D so from that A minor then from there we just go back to the 1st riff again we play it all the way through and then we have fill 2 and that changes a little bit there we have the A minor again now this time we're going to slide from 2 to 4 on the D string play the open G, 3rd fret on the B, play the 4th fret again on the D, slide back to 2 and just play the 1st fret on the B, so slowly and that's fill 2 there and that's the first part of our intro so we play that through for you now Quite confusing, take your time and build your speed up. So let's do that now. the intro now let's have a look at the second part this is also going to have a solo over the top of it so we're going to go for a D minor chord we're going to play the open D string first fret on the E string and then second fret G third fret on the B now this time we're going to play the first fret on the E and pull off to the open and then third B second G so. Then we're going to again play the open D, 1st fret on the E. Now we play 3rd fret on the G, 3rd fret on the B, 1st fret on the E, pull off to the open, back to 3B, 3 on the G. So we've just changed from that D minor there. Then we're going to take that same chord, we're going to move it up, we're going to play the open D, 3rd fret on the E. 5 on the G, 5 on the B, 3 on the E, 5 on the B, 5 on the G. Then we're going to jump up here, it's just an F major chord. We're going to play the 8th fret on the A, 5th fret on the E. And then we're going to play 7D, 5 on the G, 6 on the B, 5 on the E, back to 6 on the B. Now we're coming back to this G minor 7 chord, we're going to play 5 on the A, 6 on the B, 3 on the D, 3 on the G, 6 on the B, 3 on the G, 3 on the D there. So. Then we're going to come to a C sus4, we're going to play the 3rd fret on the A, 6th fret on the B string there, play 5D. 5G, play the 6 on the B and pull off to the 5, and then back to 5G, 5D, so. And then we just finish on the G bar chord, we're just going to play the 3rd fret on the E, 3rd fret on the B, and the 4th fret on the G. Now this first time it finishes on 4G, 5D. Now it only does that 4-5 the first time through. And that's riff 2 there. So let me play that for you again. There's a lot in it, so just take your time. And then we'll have a look at the little solo over the top of that. And we're going to call that riff 2 there. Now let's have a look at the little solo that plays over the top of that. So we're going to start on the 10th fret on the B string, slide up to that, then play the 11th fret B, then we're going to slide from 13 to 15 on the B, and then just play 13 on the B. So we have... We're going to 14 on the G, slide back to 12, and then just play 14 on the G, 
and we jump to 15 on the B, play it again and slide up to 17, play 18B, 17B, and then just 13, slide up to 15 on the B. And that's our first solo, and that's playing with riff two, so let's play that up to speed, nothing too hard there. And that's your first solo. Now let's have a look at the next part. Then for our first verse, we're just playing riff one, do that exactly the same, and we end with fill one. So that A minor, and then a slide up. So that's all exactly the same. Then we go back to riff one, we play that exactly the same again, but this time we just end on the A minor. So just playing the A string, first fret on the B, second fret G, second fret D. Just hold that, we don't have any little fill at the end there. And then the next time through, the start of Roof 1 changes slightly. We're just going to do a hammer on to the first fret. So we're playing the open A string, open B string, and hammering on to the first fret. And then second fret G, second fret D, third fret on the B, open E. So it's only that intro bit that's changing. Then the rest of the riff stays exactly the same. And then we put fill two in at the end there, we end on an A minor. So we've done that one before. Then we play riff one again, and we do it with that hammer on start again. The rest of it stays exactly the same. Now the last fill changes here. We're gonna slide from the second fret, we play the A minor first, and then we slide from the second fret on the D up to the fifth fret. Play the fifth fret on the G, third fret on the B, open E, third fret on the B again, so. And in that verse, there is some solos playing, but he's recorded it and they've put it backwards there. So there's some little fills and that going on there. Then from that, we go back into riff two and we do that exactly the same. And that's our first pre-chorus there. From there we go into what we call Riff 3, and this is our chorus, so let's have a look at that now. So now we're going to start on the E string, play 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and then we go to the open, and this is going to be the main riff, so open, playing the 2nd fret on the A, 4th fret on the D, open G, back to 4 on the D, 2 on the A, and open B, so. Then 3rd fret on the E, 2nd fret on the A, open D. Then we're going to slide from the 3rd fret up to the 5th fret on the E. Play the 4th fret A, open D, and then open B. And we're going to do that part 4 times, we're not doing the 3-2 at the start. So let me do that slowly. We do that through four times. Then after that we go to the open A string, second fret on the D, open G, open B, back to the open G, second fret on the D, open A. Third fret on the A, second fret on the D, open G. And we're basically doing the same thing, sliding up on the third fret on the A to the fifth fret. Play the fourth fret on the D, open G, open B, and we do that through two times. Let's do that slowly. And that through two times, and then we finish that little lick off, we're gonna play the third fret on the A. I want gonna do all harmonics here in the fifth fret, so D, G, E, B, G. Then slide from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret on the A. And we're going to do the 7th fret harmonic. D, G, E, B. Then we're going to finish just with a chord here. Open A string, 2nd fret on the D, 4th fret on the G, open B and E. And that's our chorus sound. We're going to call that one Riff 3. So let me do that now up to speed for you.
And that's roof three or our chorus there. Now there's some little solos in the background of that first chorus as well. So we're going to start on the 10th fret on the B string. This is when he says water. So sail your ships across the and the 10th fret on the B. We just play that. Then from there we come to the G string. We're going to slide from four to nine. And the next little fill, G string, 14, slide back to 12, up to 14, slide up to 16, back to 14, 12, 14. And then to finish that off, we're just going to play 16 on the G, and then 16 again, slide back to 14. So there's little fills there, starting on the 10 on the B. And that's behind the first chorus here, now the little solos. Let's have a look at the next bit. So from our chorus here, we go back to another solo. And under the solo, we're just playing riff one again, exactly the same, and we're putting fill two in there, and we're playing a solo over the top of that. So let's have a look at that one now. So this time, we're gonna start on the 19th foot on the E. We're gonna play 17, pull off to 15 on the E, and then slide back to 17. Then we're going to do 15, pull off to 12, all on the E. Then do a bend on the 14 on the E. So. Then on the B string, 17, pull off to 15. Come back, 13, pull off to 12, slide up to 13 on the B. And then 12, slide up to 15. 17, slide back to 15 on the B, and on 15 we use our bar. Just push it in, and then to finish that off, we're gonna do 13, pull off to 12, slide back to 10 on the B, and then use your bar, we're gonna pull it up there, on once we're on the 10th fret. And then just play 10, uh, sorry, eight on the B there, so you're gonna slide back from that 10 back to eight and then play the 10 on the B and use the bar again. So those two 10s, we're just pulling the bar out there and taking it to the 12th fret. So we have slowly there, 13 pull off to 10, sorry, 13 pull off to 12, slide back to 10. And that's that second solo, so let me play that up to speed for you now. And that's our solo there, now let's have a look at the next part. So then we've got our second verse, we play riff one exactly the same, and then the fill's a little bit different again at the end. We play the A minor, two slide up to four on the D, open G, third fret on the B, fifth fret on the E, third fret on the B, open G, fourth on the D, and then just go back to the E5 and the B3. So playing that part now, so it's exactly the same, we're doing the same as the first fill, we're just putting the 5 and the 3 on the end there. Then we play riff 1 through again, and that's exactly the same, and then the fill at the end changes a little bit there again. We're going we're to play the A minor, then we're going to play the open A string, 2nd fret on the D, 5th fret on the G, open B and open E. And that's our verse there, we have riff one, the first fill it's changed a little bit, riff one again, and then that last fill there. Now there's also some solos playing under that, so let's have a look at those as well. So at the start of the verse, we're gonna play the fifth fret on the B harmonic and use our bar to come in, it's sort of that whale sound you're using. Then we go into this little solo, and we're gonna harmony on that as well, and we'll have a look at that in a minute. We're gonna slide up to the 12th fret on the E, back to the 10th fret E, and then we're gonna slide from 12 back to 10. Do that again, 12, slide back to 10. And slide up to 17 there, so. 
and then do 10, hammer onto 12, pull off the 10. And then we do 13, slide, or we sort of slide into 13, play 12 and slide up to 17 on the E string again. So nothing too hard, all on the E string. Let me play that for you. Now we have a harmony over that as well. This time we're going to be on the B string. We're going to slide up to the 10th fret. Play the 8th fret on the B. And then 10, slide back to 8 on the B. Do that again and slide up to 13, all on the B, and then play 8, hammer onto 10, pull off the 8, on the B. Now this time we're going to slide up to 14 on the G, play the 12 and slide up to 14. And that's the harmony there again, nothing too hard, so we play that up to speed for you. And that's our harmony there, and that's for the second verse. Now in our pre-chorus, we just play the riff two exactly the same, and we've got this little three-part harmony this time, playing over the top of that as well. So let's have a look at that. We're gonna start on the B string, 10th fret. Go to the 11th fret B. 13 on the B. Back to 10 on the B. Then we jump to 10 on the E. And then 13 on the B. Back to 12 on the E, and then 10 on the E. So pretty easy there. Now the second harmony, we're gonna be playing 10 on the G. Play it again. Then play 12 on the G, and then 10 on the G. Then come to 11 on the B, 10 on the B, 13 on the B, and 12 on the B. So it sounds a little bit weird by itself, that one, but it works with the harmony. Let's try that up to speed. Then the last harmony we've got, we're gonna start on 12 on the D string, and we're gonna do that three times. Then back to 10 on the D, then 10 on the G, 10 on the D, and 12 on the G there. Now that's a note short, so it's not playing that fast note in between there, so it's up to speed. three different harmony parts there for our pre-chorus. As we said, the rhythm just plays exactly the same. And then from there we have our chorus again, so let's have a look at that. So this chorus is gonna be slightly different. We're gonna be adding in harmonics on the seventh fret there. So it stays the same. Three, two, O. Oh. We play our open, two, four, open, four, two, open. Coming up, three, two, open, three, slide to five. Four on the A, open D. And then play the seventh fret harmonic on the G and the B. So slowly. Then do it all the way through again. The second time, play the harmonics on seventh fret B and E. And then the third time and the fourth time, just go back to the harmonics on the seventh fret on the G and B. And then from there we go into the next riff and it's gonna be the same again. Open, two, open, 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 two, open. Three, two, open. Three, slide up to five. Four, open on the G. Now this time play the seventh fret harmonic on the B and the E. And do that two times. We do that through two times. So it's exactly the same as our first chorus, but we're just now adding those harmonics in. So let me play that first part for you there. 
changes we're going to play third fret on the a second fret on the d open g third fret on the b and then come back down open g second fret on the d third fret on the a and slide up to the fifth fret we're going to keep that chord there so and then fourth fret d open g fifth fret on the B, open G, 4th fret on the D, 5th fret on the A, so we have. Then we're going to play the 7th fret on the A, 5 on the D, G, B, D, G, back to 7 and slide up to 9 on the A, and then play on the D, 7, G, 7, B, 7, and come back down again and finish on the 9 on the A. So from there we have... Then we're going to play the 10th fret on the A, 10 on the D, 9 on the G, 8 on the B, back to 9, 10 and 10. Slide up to the 12th fret on the A and then play 12D, 11G, 10 on the B, back to 11 on the G, 12 on the D, and then we're just going to finish with an A sus2 chord. So open A string, second fret on the D and the G, open B and E. And they're all our clean parts here. So let me play that last little bit slowly for you first. going to sound. And we've got some solos over the top of those as well, so let's have a look at that now. So in the first part of the chorus, we're just going to play the open B string. And you can use your bar there, and then play the open G string. Then play the open E, 12th fret B. And then on the E string, go 12, slide down to 7. And then we're going to play the 19th fret harmonic on the E string. And then play 15 on the E string two times, and the second time use your bar. And there are all the little fills in there in the first part of the chorus. Then from there it's going to do a build up, so let's have a look at that as well. Then our new part of the chorus, the last part, the build up, we're going to have these octave chords. We're going to play the 3rd fret on the A, 5th fret on the G. We're not playing the D string that's muted, so we play that. And then just slide up 2 frets, so play it again and slide up. So we're on 5 and 7, play that and slide up to 7 and 9. Play the 7 and 9 and slide up to 9 and 11. Play the 9 and 11, slide up to 10 and 12. Play 10 and 12, slide up to 12 and 14. Play 12 and 14 and slide up to 14 and 16. So that's pretty easy there, let's do that up to speed. also another guitar under that. First we start with the 19th fret harmonic on the E string. Play 15, slide back to 10 on the E. And then for the last build ups here, we're going to play 15 on the E, 17 on the E, and then do a 17 bend on the E. And there on our last three 
there of our octave chord. So it'll be from the 10 and the 12 up to the 10 and sorry, up to the 12 and the 14. So we have 15. And there are all our clean parts and our solos at the start. Now we have our heavy parts, let's jump into that. So for our heavy guitar, we'll just take it section at a time because there's a lot going on here. And we'll look at the solos after we've done this first part. So we're just going to start on a D sus4. So we have the open D string, second fret on the G, third fret on the B and the E. And then just play the D. So we're just going to play the second fret on the E and the third fret on the B. So just an upstroke there. So. And do that two times. So we have. Then we've got this chord here. We're going to play the third fret on the E string, fifth fret on the A and the D, and the seventh fret on the G. And we're going to slide that up two frets. And then just play it another three times. And just with the down, up, down. So. And do that two times. Now, if you're really struggling to get that there, you can just play the fifth fret on the A and the D and the seventh fret on the G string and sliding up there. But you can hear that lower note in the song there. Then we go back to our D, sus4 to D again, two times. Now he puts a little fill in here, we're gonna play fifth fret on the E, pull off the second fret. Third fret on the B, fifth fret on the G. Then we go to an F power chord, first fret on the E, third fret on the A and the D. C power chord, third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D and the G. To a G power chord, third fret on the E, fifth fret on the A and the D. Now one guitar holds that G and there's another little fill here. We've got seventh fret on the G, ninth fret on the G, B, 8th fret 2 times, back to 9 on the G, 10 on the D. So, so let me play that first part slowly for you. There's a solo playing over that, and we'll have a look at those in a minute. So let's do that up to speed now. And then from there we go back to the D sus4 to the D again, and do it again. Do our chord where we're sliding up two times, exactly the same. Our D's sus4 to the D with the fill again. Then from there it's going to change. We're going to play the F power chord the same, C power chord the same. Then we're going to come up to this G. We're going to play 5th fret on the A and the D, 7th fret on the G and the 8th fret on the B. Then we're going to play 7B, 7G, 5 on the D. Then come back to the B string, do 8, pull off to 7. And then 7 on the G, 5 on the D. So, so let me do that line up to speed now for you. Just an F chord, so third fret on the A, third fret on the D, fifth fret on the G, sixth fret on the B. And then we're going to play a C power chord, third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D, G, and B. Then move up to the G chord that we just did before, so we have five, five, seven, eight. Now we're going to play five on the A, five on. D7 on the G, 7 on the B. 
Then we're just moving up to an A chord here, seventh fret on the A, seventh fret on the D, ninth fret on the G, tenth fret on the B. So let me play from that F for the first part there for you. So let me play that whole section through for you. solo section so let's have a look at those as well. So on that first D sus4 we're going to play the 13 on the B string, the 10 on the E and we're just going to bend the 13 and we're going to do that two times. Now this next part we're going to call fill 3 because he uses it all the time through the rest of the song. So we're going to start with a bend on the 7th fret on the G, pull off the 5, so bend and release pull off the 5 with a pinched harmonic. Pull off the 5, hammer on to 7 on the D, pull off the 5, hammer on to 7 on the A, pull off the 5. So without the pinched harmonic. And up to speed there. And he uses that fill all the time, so we're going to call that fill 3. And then we're going to come up to the 16 on the B, 13 on the E, bend the 16. Then play 15 on the B, 12 on the E, bend the 15. And then come all the way back to 11 on the B, 8 on the E, bend the 11. Then we're coming up to 18 on the B, 15 on the E, bend the 18. Back to 17, B, 14 on the E, bend. And then all the way up to 20 on the B, 17 on the E, bend. So slowly there. Then he does this little octave with a wah pedal, and most of this is done with the wah pedal as well. Fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the D, and we're just sliding up to seven and nine and playing it three times. So similar to our rhythm. Then we do it again. And just play the seven and nine once. So do our fill three again. And then this time we're going to come up to 18 on the B, 15 on the E, bend the 18. 17 on the B, 14 on the E, bend the 17. And 20 on the B, 17 on the E, bend the 20. So he's just doing it the opposite of way around, and then 16 on the B, 13 on the E, bend the 16, 15 and 12. Now this time come back to 13 on the B, 10 on the E, bend the 13. And then to finish that off, you play 16 B, 13 on the E. Jump up to 20 B, 17, E. Come back to 18 B, 15 E. Then come up to 22 on the B, 19 on the E. Then just play 17 on the E, 20 on the E and do a bend. And we've also got that fill in the next part as well. Now. So whenever that's there, you can add that in. So let's do that part up to speed for you. This time, when he ends on the 5, he holds that 5 and the 2nd guitar comes up and plays the 18 there. So our last part, we just... And there are all the solo parts before we get into the chorus, and so now let's have a look at the rhythm parts here. So from our build-up... We're going to a D minor, we'll play the 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D and the G, and the 6th fret on the B. Now we're going to play the 5th fret on the A, 
the 8th fret on the D, 7 on the G and 6 on the B. And just move that up 2 frets. Then play the open E and the F power chord. Now we've got a little fill here and there's two parts. We're going to play D string, 2, 3, 5, G string, 2, back to D, 3, 2. And there's a harmony on top of that as well. We're going to start on the B string, play 5, 6, 8, 5 on the E, back to the B, 6, 5, and 7 on the G. So that first part there. Then we go back to the D minor, play it two times. We're going to play a C sus4, so 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D and the G, 6th fret on the B. And then just play the C power chord. Now we're going to do that slide up again, but instead of doing it on the 3 and the 5 and the 7, we're going to come back to the 1, the 3 and the 5, slide up 2 frets. So it's exactly the same, we've just dropped it back 2 frets. Then go back to your D minor, play that two times. The next chord we play, which is just a B flat. Come up again. And back to the F. Now this time again we have two harmonies. We're going to play on the D string. Two, three, G, two, slide up to five. And then just play five on the G, six on the B. The harmony is going to be 9 on the G, 10, and then we're jumping to 10 on the B and the G, slide up to 13 on the B and the G, and just play it again there. So, so we play that next part there for you. We've got. finish that off we're just going back to the D minor again but we're going to play it once, palm mute two times, again palm mute two times, our C sus4, our C and this time we're going to finish on the G power chord and we're going to use the bar to come down and that's right before the solo so let me play that last little part for you all up to speed So we're going to start with the A power chord, open A string, 2nd fret on the D and the G, play it once, 2 palm mutes, play it again, 2 palm mutes. That's basically the pattern we're going to be using through a lot of this solo. Then we're going to the 2nd fret on the A, open D and G, 3rd fret on the B, do the same pattern. Then go to the C chord, do the same pattern. Now we're jumping to a D, we're just going to play that once, two palm mutes, and then on the A, three, open D, back to three on the A, two on the A, back to the A again, this time we're going to go to G, same pattern, C, and now we're just going to do that fill two times. So three A, open D, three, two on the A, and do it again. Back to the A again. Our second fret on the B, open D and G, third fret on the B. Our C. Now this time we play D once. Back to the A string, three, two, palm mute, play the D again, back to the A string, three, two. Back to the A again. G. C. 
Now this time we're going to come up to the D power chord, 5th fret on the A, 7 on the D and the G, play it once, 2 palm mute. Then just do an upstroke there, so 5th fret on the E, 7 on the D and the G. Then we're going to come back to B, 2nd fret on the A, 4th fret on the D and the G, play it once, 2 palm mute. Again. So we do that 4 times here. Now we're going to play 2nd fret on the A, 4th fret on the D and the G, open B, open E, and we're just going to down, up, down, up, down, so 5 there. Do it again. And then to finish the solo off, we just play A string, 2, 4, 5, and that gives us the end of the solo. So there's nothing too hard in this, so let me play it through for you. solo rhythm there and we'll look at our solo at the end now let's have a look at the next part he's basically playing the chorus again but he's moved it all up a key so we're moving everything up two frets so let's have a look at that so straight after our solo we go to the e power chords so open e string second fret on the a and the d we play it once two palm mute and play it again then we're going to play c over e so just play your standard c chord but add the open e string in as well and same pattern then we're going to go D over F sharp and we're going to do the same pattern again. So second fret on the E string, mute the A string, open D, second fret on the G, third fret on the B, same pattern. Now we just play a G chord and then the D string 2, 4, 5 on the G string 2, 4. So then for that harmony over the top of the 2, 4, 5, 2, 4. We're going to play on the G string 9, 11, 12, B string 10, 12, and then play the 12 on the B and the E two times. Up to speed there, nothing too hard. So let me do that first part for you. And from there we're just going to the C power chord, same again. D power chord, same. And then we're doing a slide up again two times, this time on the third fret, fifth fret, and seventh fret again. Now this time with the feel, instead of doing it on the seventh fret, just move it up two frets and do exactly the same. So whenever he's using that now, he's playing it up on the 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7 there. Then we go back to the E again, C over E, D over F sharp, and G. Now this time the fill is going to be E string, O, 2, 3, A string, O, 2, 3. The harmony pretty easy, D string, 2, 4, 5, G string, 2, 4, 5. So. Back to the C. This time we're going to do D, two palm mute, and then just play seven on the B, G, and D. So. Now to finish that off, we're going to come up to the seventh fret on the A string, ten on the D, nine on the G, and eight on the B. Play that once, two palm mute, and play it again. Move up two frets, same chord, do it again. Now to finish off, we're going to palm mute the tenth fret on the A. Play the 9th fret on the G, slide up to 12. Play the 12 on the E. And then play 12 on the G, slide up to 14. And then on the E, 14, B, 15, G, 14. And then just play 17 on the B. And then we have our last few chords. Let me play that first part through for you up to speed. And then to finish 
finish it off, we just play an E chord. Or pick slide. Then we're going to play this D chord. We're going to play the 5th fret on the D, 7th fret on the G, sorry, the 5th fret on the A, 7th fret on the D and the G, open B and E. Come back 2 frets. Now we're there, we're going to play the open E, 5th fret harmonic on the E. Open E, 7th fret harmonic on the E. So. 7th fret harmonic on the B. Open B, 12th fret harmonic. So. We have to finish off just on the A power chord. And then the E power chord. So that last little part there. parts here. Now let's tackle the main solo. So remember there's lots of different parts going on so just take your time and build up your speed for those. Now let me play that main solo for you and we'll do the harmonies for that as well. <laughs> So we're going to start our solo with a bend on 13 on the B, play 10 on the E back to B, 13, 11, then bend 15 on the B, 12 on the E, 15, 13 on the B, then bend 16 on the B, come back to 13 on the E, this time we're going to play 17, 15 on the B. Then we're going to bend on 18 on the B, play 15, back to B, 18, 17, so slowly. Then we're going to play 17 two times on the E, play 15, 13 on the E, then all on the E, 18 two times, 17, 15, so Let's do that first part slowly. Then we're going to do a bend on the 22nd fret on the E. And then just play the 22nd fret. Then from there we're going to start on the E string 17, hammer on to 19, pull off to 17. B, 20, E, 17, B, 20, E, 17. Then we've got this little blues lick, 17 on the E, 20 on the B, 17, B, bend, 19, G. Play 17, E, 17, B, do a bend on the 19, bend and release, pull off to 17 on the G. And then D, 19, 17, and finish that with a bend on the 20B. So let's try that little part slowly now. We're going to start with the 17, hammer on to 19. Bend on 20. Now this next part's going to have a harmony on it. We're going to play 19, pull off to the open on the E string. And do that again. And then 17, pull off to open. 19, pull off to open. 15, pull off to open. 17, pull off to open. 14. And then slide up to 19 and slide down there. So slowly. And the harmony to that, let's have a look at that now. 
So the harmony is going to be doing the same thing, we're just playing different frets. We have 15 open, 15 open, 14 open, 15 open, 12 open, 14 open, then just play 10 and slide back. So. And that's the harmony there. Now let's move on with the solo. Now from that slide down from the 19, we're going to play B string, 10, pull off to 8, pull off to 7. Pinched harmonic on the 8th fret, still on the B string and a bend. And then just play 8, pull off to 7, hammer on to 8. So, so slowly. Then from there we're going to bend on the 17th fret on the B string. So it's only a half bend, 17, pull off to 15. Play 17, 15, back to 17 on the G. So. Then we're going to do a bend on 17 on the E. And then just play 17, 15, 17. So. And there's a harmony on that part there as well. Not on the first part, on the... The harmony is going to kick in on the 17, the first 17 bend there on the B string. So let's have a look at the harmony to that. So while we're doing the bend on 17, we're going to do the bend on 13 on the B. Pull off 13 to 12. Play 13, 12, 13. So. Then we're going to do a bend on the 14, another half bend there, and then just play 14, pull off to 12, back to 14. So there the harmonies there, pretty easy. So, so far we've got slowly. From there we're going to do E string, 17, have on to 19, pull off to 17, back to 20, B, 17, E, 20, B, 18, B, and on B, 17, have on to 18, pull off to 17, G, 19, back to 17, slide back to 12, so that part slowly. We're going to do a little sweep, G string 14, B 13, 12 on the E, hammer off to 15, pull off to 12, pull off to the open. And then back again, 12, E 13, B 14, G 12 on the D. So. From there, we're going to come back. 8th fret on the B string, we're going to pull off to the 7th, pull off to the 5. Do a bend on the 7th fret and release on the G and pull off the 5 with a pinched harmonic. And then D7, 5, and then we do that again. Then we're jumping to the 5th fret on the A string, we're going to do a bend with a pinched harmonic, pull off to the 3rd fret. And then E string 5, 3, and then we do that again. Pull off to the 3, and then just finish on E string 5, 3, 5. So that whole section slowly. So most of that's legato there. Legato, legato, legato. Then we're coming up to the 17th fret on the B and the E and the 14th fret on the G and we're going to slide into it and play it two times. And then we go 16 G, 15 B and E, slide into it two times again. So we're playing down, up, down, up. 
Now we're going to have this little run down. We're going to do the bend on 20E and then just play 2019-17, B string 2019-17, G string 19-17, slide back to 14, on the D string 17-14, A string 17-15, E string 17-15, slide back to 12. on that as well so let's have a look at that so for the harmony we're going to start on 15 E string to a bend then just play 15 14 12 on the E B string 14 13 12 on the G string 14 12 slide back to 7 D string 9 7 A string 10 7 E string 10 7 slide back to 3 harmony there, let's continue with the solo. So after our run down, we're going to play the open A string, 9th fret A, 9th fret D, 9th fret G, pull off the 8th. Then we're going to come to the 14th fret on the G, slide up to 16, B string, 14E, 14B, 14, so and then 14 slide up to 16 on the B, and then 16 on the G. So. Then do five bends on the 17 on the B. Do one more. And to finish off, we'll do this little run on the E string. 14, 16, 17, 19. Go up to 21, 22, and then do a bend on the 22 to finish. Last little part. And there's a harmony on just that last little run up on the E string, so let's have a look at that. Now he doubles the bend on the 17th, 5th fret, and we do that 5 times. Bend it again. Now we're playing E string 14, 16, 17, play it again, 14, 16, 17, and then bend on the 17 to finish. So we're repeating that 14, 16, 17 at the start. So. And there are all the parts of the solo, now let's play that one more time up to speed for you. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.